So this is probably the most requested video um, that I put together is how to get wireless cards working on the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's taken me a little bit of time to get this ready because um, the Raspberry Pi uses an ARM CPU and um, not all USB wireless dongles um, are um, compatible with ARM. You have to find a specific driver that has been written for um, the ARM kernel. Um, so um, there is a list online, which is this website here, which contains a really good list of um, peripherals that are supported on the Raspberry Pi, or do at least work on the Raspberry Pi. However, the video that I've created is going to be um, any um, wireless cards that work with this particular chipset. So when you're looking to buy a wireless card, you need this particular uh, chipset, because this is a, a largely uh, used chipset in lots of different wireless cards. However, I recommend that you get this one, firstly because it's um, under £10, um, and secondly because it's very, very cheap, uh, small, and um, you know it, it fits really well with the whole small form factor of the Raspberry Pi. Um, so there is a gentleman uh, on the Raspberry Pi forum whose username is there, and a link to the post he put, and he's created an automated bash script which will go through uh, a wizard, it will download the correct kernel drivers and it will um, basically go through a wizard and ask you what your SSID is and so on of how to set up your, your wireless card. If you want to know a bit more information about that, go to that link, read up there. However, I'm going to show you the process that he outlines um, and provide you with a link to the script, which is uh, this link here, which can you get from my uh, Google Share, um, where all my documentation is stored. Um, but obviously his link has the originals, uh, mine is, a, is just a, the most recent up-to-date ones. Okay, so once you've downloaded the um, wireless script onto your laptop or whatever, um, feel free to download this to your Raspberry Pi, like however you wish. Um, I tend, generally tend to use WinSCP, um, so um, load up WinSCP. I'm going to transfer this into the um, slash var slash temp directory. Um, and then I'm going to copy it across from there into my um, slash home slash pi directory. So you see me just copying it across here. Um, once this is done, I'm going to open up um, an SSH session using PuTTY to my Raspberry Pi. Notice that I'm going to use the IP address um, with the last octet of dot eight, which is um, my physical um, RJ45 Ethernet cable and not my wireless um, card. You're going to need this um, to give you access to the internet for it to download those um, kernel driver, those um, ARM kernel drivers that we've been talking about and that's uh, part of the installation process. So cp slash var slash temps uh, slash the name of the uh, installation script, copy it to there and um, they're going to change the permission so we can make it executable, chmod 777 which is like massively overkill but um, you know it'll do the job. Okay sudo dot forward slash to um, run the installation script. Okay, so at this point here we get um, the instructions about what we can do, so feel free to read through that, but if this is the first time you've done it and have used it before, just hit enter and um, we'll be able to see that it hasn't actually got anything configured at this point in time. So uh, go ahead and hit enter and there we go, we can see that you have zero Wi-Fi adapters configured. Okay, so it's now going to ask us what type of um, wireless uh, you know, um, network are we connecting to. I'm going to click A, uh, select A, which is a WPA2, which is my network. It's going to then ask me for the SSID, which is a um, home Wi-Fi. That'll be whatever your um, network broadcasts, the name of your network, wireless network. It's then going to ask me for the password for my um, wireless network. Okay, so I'm going to type in the ultra secure password. That's obviously whatever yours is. Um, and it's going to ask me to confirm that. And now it's going to go through the process of um, configuring and installing some of the necessary um, drivers and so on that are required for um, this installation. Um, once it's finished uh, or got to this point, it will ask us to plug in the um, wireless adapter. So, okay, we get our little adapter and we go over to our Pi and we plug it in, and it's going to wait for the um, uh, adapter to start flashing the lights so we know that it's actually working and. Um, talking to the Pi's hardware. Okay, so we go back and we hit enter, now we have that flashing light on the Pi, and it's now going to go and configure um, that uh, adapter. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. Okay, so now we hit uh, control C uh, to cancel out of this session. Um, we don't want to hit continue, do not hit continue, hit control C. 
and we've now lost our SSH session to uh, the Raspberry Pi. So um, you also notice now that we have um, been given an IP address. So you see there it says um, WLAN 0 and it's given us the IP address of 10.50.0.5. So if we open up an, uh, another, um, so first of all, let's see if we can ping the device. So open up a command prompt and ping 10.50.0.5. There we go. That's the IP address that we've been given. Great stuff. We know it's there. And uh, let's open up another party session and make an SSH connection to 10.50.0.5. That's my IP address in my network. And there we go. Um, that's a connection to your Raspberry Pi over wireless. I hope that works for you guys. Quick tip, if you use the command more um, slash etc slash networks slash interfaces and view the interfaces file, um, you can see there that the SSID and the password for your network is stored there. You can change it if you want to change networks.